Picture this. You and your partner are having a tense moment. The air is thick with unspoken words and the tension is palpable. Maybe it started with a misplaced phone or a forgotten errand. Small things that seem insignificant at first but can quickly escalate. Suddenly, voices are raised, accusations fly, and you're both feeling hurt and angry. The argument spirals out of control and it feels like there's no way back. Sound familiar? Arguments happen in even the best relationships, it's a natural part of being close to someone. But what separates a healthy relationship from a toxic one is how we handle these conflicts. It's not about avoiding arguments, but about navigating them with care and respect. Too often we get caught up in being right instead of focusing on understanding our partner's perspective. We forget that the goal is not to win, but to find a resolution that works for both. We blame them for our emotions, refusing to acknowledge our own role in the situation. This creates a cycle of blame and defensiveness that can be hard to break. This lack of self-accountability can be a major roadblock to resolving conflict and maintaining a loving, supportive relationship. Taking responsibility for our own feelings and actions is crucial. When we approach conflicts with empathy and a willingness to understand, we open the door to deeper connection and trust. It's about seeing the person you love as an ally, not an adversary. Remember, it's not about who is right or wrong, it's about finding a path forward together. Healthy communication and mutual respect are the foundations of a strong relationship. So next time you find yourself in a heated moment, take a step back, breathe, listen, and remember that you're in this together, your relationship is worth the effort. Self-accountability means taking responsibility for your actions, thoughts, and feelings in a relationship. It's about recognizing that you're not always the victim and that your partner isn't always the villain. It's about owning your part in the conflict, even if it's uncomfortable. When both partners are willing to take accountability, it creates a foundation of trust and respect. It allows you to address issues head on without resorting to blame or defensiveness. This open communication is crucial for resolving conflict and strengthening your bond. Apologizing can be tough, especially when you feel justified in your anger. But a sincere apology is a powerful tool for healing hurt feelings and rebuilding trust. When you apologize, you acknowledge the pain you caused your partner and take responsibility for your actions. Apologizing doesn't mean you're weak or that you're admitting defeat. It shows strength of character and a commitment to the relationship. It says, I care about you and I'm willing to work through this. Imagine this, instead of escalating the argument, you take a deep breath and say, you know what, I'm sorry. I was feeling stressed about work and I took it out on you. That wasn't fair. This simple act of accountability can completely change the dynamic of the conversation. When you apologize, you create space for your partner to do the same. It opens the door for understanding, empathy, and ultimately, forgiveness. This is how you build bridges instead of walls, strengthening your connection. Sarah and John, a love restored. Let's talk about Sarah and John. Their story is one of struggle, pain, and ultimately redemption. They were on the verge of breaking up. Years of unresolved issues had brought them to this breaking point. Constant arguments and resentment had poisoned their relationship. Every conversation seemed to turn into a battle. Sarah felt unheard and unappreciated while John felt constantly criticized. The love they once shared seemed like a distant memory. Then Sarah started practicing self-accountability. She realized that change had to start from within. She began paying attention to her role in their arguments. She took a step back and reflected on her behavior. She realized she often resorted to blaming and criticism instead of expressing her needs calmly. This was a turning point for her. She started apologizing for her part even when it was difficult. It wasn't easy, but she knew it was necessary for healing. To her surprise, John responded positively. He saw her efforts and began to reflect on his own actions. He started taking responsibility for his own actions, and their communication improved drastically. They began to understand each other better. They learned to fight fair, address issues with empathy, and most importantly, apologize and forgive each other. Their relationship began to heal. They even decided to attend relationship counseling. This helped them gain new perspectives and tools to manage their conflicts. Through counseling, they learned the importance of active listening. They practiced listening to understand, not just to respond. They also made a conscious effort to spend quality time together. They rediscovered the joy of each other's company. Engaging in shared hobbies brought them closer. They found new ways to connect and enjoy each other's presence. 
Expressing love and appreciation became a daily practice. They made sure to acknowledge each other's efforts and express gratitude. Celebrating milestones together reminded them of their journey and the progress they had made. It strengthened their bond. Sarah and John's love was restored. They emerged stronger, more connected and deeply appreciative of each other. Their story is a testament to the power of self-reflection, accountability, and the willingness to change. Love, after all, is a journey of growth and understanding. The Blame Game, A Toxic Trap The blame game is a dangerous trap in relationships. It's easy to get caught up in pointing fingers, justifying our actions, and viewing our partner as the problem. We often find ourselves in a loop where we believe that if only our partner would change, everything would be perfect. This mindset is not only unproductive but also harmful. But this mindset prevents us from seeing our own flaws and taking responsibility for our part. When we focus solely on our partner's mistakes, we miss the opportunity to grow and improve ourselves. Self-reflection is crucial in any relationship. The blame game creates a toxic cycle of resentment, anger, and defensiveness. Each accusation builds a wall between partners, making it harder to communicate and understand each other. Over time, this cycle can become deeply ingrained, making it difficult to break free. It erodes trust, intimacy, and ultimately, love. Trust is the foundation of any strong relationship, and without it, the relationship can crumble. Intimacy, both emotional and physical, suffers as partners grow distant and disconnected. To break free from this cycle, we need to stop playing the victim and start taking ownership of our actions. This means acknowledging our mistakes, apologizing sincerely, and making a conscious effort to change. By doing so, we can rebuild trust and intimacy and create a healthier, more loving relationship. It's not easy, but it's worth the effort. Breaking free. Taking control of your happiness. Remember, you are responsible for your own happiness. You can't control your partner's actions or words, but you can control how you react to them. You can choose to approach conflicts with understanding and empathy, or you can choose to react with blame and anger. Self-accountability empowers you to take control of your emotions and your experience in the relationship. It allows you to communicate your needs effectively, set healthy boundaries, and build a stronger, more fulfilling partnership. Mirror, mirror, self-reflection for growth. Self-accountability requires honest self-reflection. It's about taking a step back and examining your own thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Ask yourself, what role did I play in this situation? Could I have handled things differently? What can I learn from this experience? This process of self-reflection can be uncomfortable, but it's essential for personal growth and building healthier relationships. It allows you to identify your own patterns and make positive changes. The art of the apology saying it right. A sincere apology is a powerful tool, but it needs to be delivered effectively. Avoid making excuses or justifying your actions. Instead, focus on acknowledging the pain you caused and expressing remorse. Use I statements to take responsibility for your actions. For example, instead of saying, you made me angry, say I feel angry when this subtle shift in language can make a big difference in how your apology is received. Forgiveness, the final piece. Forgiveness is crucial for moving forward after a conflict. It doesn't mean condoning your partner's actions, it means releasing the anger and resentment that's holding you back. Forgiveness is a gift you give yourself, allowing you to let go of the past and embrace the present. Forgiveness takes time and effort, and it's a process, not a destination. Be patient with yourself and your partner as you work through hurt feelings and rebuild trust. Self-accountability your key to lasting love. Self-accountability is not about being perfect. It's about being present, honest, and willing to grow. It's about taking responsibility for your actions, apologizing when you're wrong, and striving to be the best partner you can be. By embracing self-accountability, you can transform your relationship from a source of stress and conflict into a haven of love, support, and understanding. Remember, lasting love starts with you. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.